something that's really interesting that we've been using um, with NWA, that's our end of year assessment. Um, they have something called Skills Locator and we're able to assign um, Common Core State Standards to students and they're able to uh, demonstrate mastery. Mm -hmm. So they're called little mastery checks and they're like five to 10 questions on a specific skill. So I taught a small group lesson today on possessive nouns. I can then assign my students this mastery check um, to see if they actually mastered the standard or not um, and provide interventions or enrichment through that. I have one student in particular that has finished the third grade curriculum and in one specific strand vocabulary, she was working on eighth grade level skills. Um, so I thought, you know what I mean? She doesn't need to be um, working on the same third grade level skills as everyone else. So. With this personalized learning, um, we've been creating PLPs. So I created a personalized learning plan with her. You'll see that we went in and we uh, came up with one essential question. So we picked a standard that was present in um, all grade levels. So this is a third grade level standard, but it goes all the way up until eighth grade. And so the question that she's trying to answer is how do different genres teach the same message in different ways? So this is a standard that she could be working on eighth grade level material, reading you know more complex texts and harder vocabulary. Um, and so we just went through and uh, we came up with some goals and she used her um, personalized learning plan to show like how she likes to access information. So does she like to watch videos? Does she like to read stories? Um, does she like to work with a partner? Um, how do you like to show what you know? And she said, I'll use technology to express what I have learned um, by using applications like explain everything in Google Slides and then here's just like a tracker that we've been using to sort of check in. Um, I have one other student that is working on this as well so they're able to kind of work as a group, peer mentor. Um, I'll check in with them and see how they're doing so when they're not receiving guided reading they're either working on this um, independently and collaborating every so often or um, program time.